So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Now a run. This is below Powell. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that'll make it second and a foot or so. Now that was an excellent run, and when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job, and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block, but the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes, so when they block on a big time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. They only needed a few inches there on second, but forget the halfback dive. They were going for the big one. I thought it was a good time to take a shot. You figure with their running game, if they don't get it there, you come back and run for it and pick up the first down. Go ahead and be aggressive. Try and get one down for a big one. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. So just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? That looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. It just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. 17 yards on the pickup there. The drive will continue. It's a first down. Two carries for him now on the opening drive, both for good yardage. And based on film study, they thought that there was a chance to spring him more than once for some pretty good yardage in this game. They'll run with Marshawn Lynch. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 47. The loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Wow, that play got shut down in a hurry. As soon as the snap came, you could see defensively they were just closing in. That was going nowhere. Yeah, you count on your offensive line to give you a little bit of space, a little bit of time so you can make a move. There was none there for him. Eight yards on the run, and that cuts this down to a third and about five. From the gun on third down, Griffin eluding the pressure right. Looking middle, it's caught by Gronkowski. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. Would have been right at about a 52-yard field goal try, but no, they are going to go for this thing on fourth down. Running for it, here's Lynch. And he's not even going to come close to picking up the first. They stop him right at the line. So second quarter, this offense losing and hoping to get the football in the end zone for the first time. They'll start on the ground with Lynch. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. With the struggles we're seeing up front for the offense today, they've got to think about changing up their play calling. Some screens, some draws, some quick hitting plays in order to try and supplement the run game. You don't totally abandon it, but you try and give it a little bit of help. Now, well, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. It's been my observation, there's been a nice variety of play calling defensively. You and I often talk about an offense's ability to keep a defense off balance with what they're doing. I think the converse has been true in this game. Yeah, I think you're right. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Von Miller able to drop it for a loss of 12. And it'll be fourth down. This Carolina D was third in the NFL in sacks last year. And sometimes that surprises people when they hear that because who's the dominant pass rusher that you think of putting up double-digit sacks? They do it collectively as a unit and get to the quarterback. It's a 45-yard punt, six yards on the return. With a little over two minutes to play in the second quarter, the offense gets ready to take over. And now here come the Cowboys. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means they're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. And give him 17 yards that time as that'll move the chains.
A reminder coming up at the half. We hook up with a new guy, Jonathan Coachman from Orlando. He'll have highlights and analysis, and more importantly this year, scores and stats from around the league here in week one. So do not press that skip button. Two spins. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. That one good for 10 yards. And that'll bring up a second in just about a few inches here. Second down, Lynch, and he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far, and after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive line not helping him much. From the red zone now, here's Griffin on first down. It's complete to Brown, right side. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. It's a 10-yard gain there, and it sets him up now first and goal. And that's the first mark on the stat sheet for the four-time first-team All-Pro. How about this? Over 1,000 yards six times in his career, and just two yards away in 2013 of being over 1,500. For RG3, his first touchdown pass since New Year's Day of 2017, as his guys are able to pull a bit closer. Illegal touching, offense. Down in this one, they needed that score, but they'll have to hold at least for the time being. You're exactly right. Points that they had to have, as you said, they have to regroup now and see if they can get them another way. On second down, here's Griffin. And that is incomplete. Antonio Brown, the intended receiver. Third down here. It's never a bad idea to try and get it to Antonio Brown, but there must be a little bit of the mad curse going on for our cover athlete here. Hasn't been able to get that elite separation that we're used to seeing from him. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. For RG3, his first touchdown pass since New Year's Day of 2017. As they are now... So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Final play of the half. It's Griffin forced out to his left. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. Pass interference. Defense. Well, Antonio Brown can wreak havoc in so down. many ways here. He's able to cause a P.I. penalty. He runs at defensive backs with such speed and power. I think it creates panic on their end. And lots of they just reach out and grab him. And that's the result there. A pass interference call. Steps away to his left. He's going deep for Brown. And incomplete on the deep ball. All right, we will save the week one highlights and apparently get right back to the action here in the third. So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Out come the Cowboys now as they'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never want to make something more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But this is a do that? I'm doing it, though. <laughs> this is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game. We'll see if that script is a good one for them. This will be caught by Brown. A good pick up there of 20 yards. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. To throw is RG3. Flushed out right. 
So they took a shot on first down, but couldn't connect. You know, despite the scoreline, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. First catch of the new season for him, and he picks up the first. Sometimes it's designed, and sometimes you just have to know when to leave the pocket and move and make something happen. Now, on that play, he's able to get on the run and was still accurate throwing the football. On the right side, it's Hilton with a catch. And they move this all the way down to the nine. A really good pickup of 28 yards. As a general rule, offensive linemen like to know where their quarterback's going to be when he's setting up to throw the football. But sometimes they just have to get on the run, get on the move. He was able to do that on that play and picks up a first down with a nice throw. They'll run with Lynch. And a short pick up there down to about the nine. Only a yard that time, second and goal. Well, it's been the air game that's taken them down on this drive before they finally turned around and handed it off on the last play. And now they're looking for the big boys to get them in the end zone. Couldn't do it there. It'll be interesting to see. Offensive lines had to pass block a lot on this drive. Will they be able to revert and fire out and create some space in the run game? And a nice move will yield nothing as he stopped behind the line. It'll be a loss of one, and that's going to bring up an interesting third and goal. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Kareem Jackson. Now the offense back out onto the field as they'll take over here in the final minute of this third quarter. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Got a man, it's Brown. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. An excellent way to start the drive there, 18 yards. We talk about mobility on quarterbacks all the time. Here's where it really pays off. Able to move, evade. And, it's... and we're back now in Charlotte. It's the Cowboys in possession of the football, but they trail here as we begin the fourth quarter of play. Throwing now, Griffin on first down. Got an open man, it's a new one. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. On second down, Griffin. There he goes inside the 30. Going to throw right side here, complete. And that one good for 16, and the drive will continue. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, you know, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. We have not seen a whole lot of wide open receivers. Everything seemingly has been contested. And that's another nice. job there to force an incompletion they've been very cohesive knowing each other's moves all game long 
and they've been on the spot just about every time. And they've held them in check on the scoreboard. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. So they looked like they were getting ready to convert there on third down, but what an effort to get his hand on that one, knock it away, and brings up a fourth down decision. Tavecchio puts this one through. And they're back within a touchdown. It's 17 to 10. So this offense will head back out there already in excellent field position thanks to the interception. So out come the Cowboys now as their offense gets set to take over. Now Griffin. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way you, you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. Now Griffin on second down. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. It goes as a gain of eight and it moves the chains. Well, some good games around the league here early in week one, and this one shaping up to be as good as any of them as we come up on a first and ten. A run here with Lynch. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. A nice pickup of 14, and it moves the stick, sets up a first and goal. Time for a break. We'll come back for the electrifying conclusion after this. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They come up on a first and goal with this game still hanging in the balance. Well, look at this, a tight end carry. And he'll keep working toward that end zone as he's down to about the two-yard line. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. Looks like they're establishing a pretty good pattern here because they've been very heavy in the running game on the last four plays. Yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth so far. Four plays in this drive, all four on the ground. Over the middle here to Brown. And he'll take it into the end zone for a count. Right now we're all even. It's a tie game as we drop you back in and the offense gets set to take over. Here's Griffin escaping the pressure right. Going right side here and that's complete. The completion good for three and it's second down. Gosh, given the time and the short game, would he have been better off just dropping that? Yeah, when you look at the clock, you think so. But it's hard to get a receiver to drop a football. They're trained to catch everything. Now RG3, buying time to his left. Floating one incomplete. One of his main targets, Delaney Walker, the intended receiver. And it's third down. Now we're in the situation where the quarterback's got to take full charge of his huddle. Got to totally command and make sure all eyes are on him. All focus is locked in. Going to call multiple plays and go over different situations and scenarios to make sure everyone is on the same page. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. And now we get a timeout called on the defensive side of the ball by the Panthers. As they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. So now then, the big play has them all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. First down, the run with Lynch. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. The Panthers are going to take another timeout. As the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in the fourth. They run again on first down, Lynch. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest game. And now we're going to get a timeout here called by the defense. As he'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. A tenth carry of the game for Marshawn Lynch. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. 
It's a four-yard pickup, and that'll make it third and one. Now, what's the thinking here? Because a touchdown would be nice, but you've ensured yourself a chance at three in the lead, so how worried are you about the six? You're not very worried about if you're confident in your kicker. And if you've got a kicker who can put it through the post, you feel really good about trying to bleed that clock down. And in an ideal scenario, your kicker puts it through the post as the clock hits zeros. And it's good! And on opening weekend, a field goal to win it as time expires. And it'll be a good time in Big D tonight. The Cowboys have...